Hello again, today we're going to continue right, the chapter of uh, solving okay, equations and we're going to deal with brackets this time. So, solve these equations. Okay, so important. First thing you have to do when you have brackets is to expand the brackets. Let's have a look at this example over here. Okay, so I have 3a plus 2. So remember that that means 3 is multiplied by the entire, multiplied by the entire bracket, meaning 3 is multiplied by a, okay, and 3 is multiplied by 2. Okay, so 3 multiplied by a is 3a, there is a step, let me write it down, 3 multiplied by a is 3a, okay, then 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, and that is equal to 18, okay, if we continue this one, then it's the same as what we did during the previous lesson, we eliminate the plus 6 by subtracting 6 on both sides, so that is eliminated and we have 3a equals 18 minus 6. So 3a is 12. Okay. Then to find a, okay, you have to eliminate the 3. So instead of multiplying, the opposite is dividing and do that on both sides. So a is 4. Okay, now the example over here is a little bit different. Okay, the example over here, instead of expanding the bracket, okay, the tree has been divided on both sides. So we divide it by three on both sides. So what happened over there? If you divide this by three, this 3 is eliminated, and if you divide this by 3, this will become 6, okay? You will get the same answer. So you can first expand the brackets, but sometimes, okay, you can divide, okay, to eliminate the number which is outside the bracket, the common factor. In that case, then it all, okay, we both got the same value. So let's try this one out. So on this one, okay, for instance, you can divide both sides by 5, but it will become a bit more complicated. So in this case, it's better if you expand the brackets. 5 multiplied by x, which is 5x, and then 5 multiplied by minus 3, then the positive times a negative, which is negative, 5 times 3 is 15. Okay, now I have a 5x and I have a 6x. Which one uh, would you prefer if they were money? Would you prefer 5 euro or 6 euro? 6 euro would be better. So get the x's on this side. So I have 6x. Okay, I need to eliminate the 5x. So minus 5x over there and minus 5x over here as well. So over on this side, on the left-hand side, I will just have a minus 15. 5, 6x minus 5x and 6x minus 5x we will have just 1x. And that is the value. It's already obtained. x is negative 15. We have the answer. Okay. So basically the first step is a little bit different. The rest is the same. So, try question B on your own. Start by expanding the brackets and we will solve it out together. You should do that in around two to three minutes.
Okay, so let's check it out together. We had 4 multiplied by 2x. So 8x. 4 multiplied by 3. So 12. It's a negative 3 multiplied by x, which is negative 3x. Negative 3 multiplied by 4, which is a minus 12. Okay, now x is on one side, letters on one side, numbers on the other side. Okay, or if you want, before you can work these out. 8x okay? can be simplified with negative 3x, so 8x minus 3x is 5x. Or plus 12, subtracting 12, so 12 minus 12, which is a 0. Okay, so basically I have 5x is equal to 0. So 5 multiplied by something is equal to 0. What is that something? Okay, if you want to continue working it out, okay, we have to remove the 5. Okay, divide by 5 on both sides. So basically I will get an x is equal to 0. And that is the final answer. You can check it out. 2 times 0. 0, 0 plus 3, 3. So I have 4 times 3 there. So I have 12. Okay? It's a x, yeah, 0, 0 plus 4, which is 4. 4 times 3, which is negative 12. Well, I don't know, 12 minus 12, which is 0. And that is correct. Always check them out by substituting. Now I need you to try this one out on your by yourselves as well. Okay, um, uh, start by expanding the brackets. Okay, take x's on one side, numbers on the other side. Okay, until you find the value of x, x equals. You should work this out in around three minutes as well.
Well, let's check them out. So expand the brackets. 6 times x. 6 times minus 3. 5 times 2x. 5 times negative 7. So a positive times a negative. Pay attention, it's a negative. 7 times 5, 35. And expand this bracket as well. So 2 times 3x. And 2 times 2. Okay, now x is on one side, the number is on the other side. Okay, so I have 6x. I have 10x. These are on the same side, so the, sign, the, rem, the signs remain the same. But the 6x needs to, eliminate it, to be eliminated from here. So I need to add a minus 6x and add a minus 6x on this side as well. Okay, now... The minus 18 should be eliminated from this side, so it will go to the other side of the equal sign. So instead of minus 18, I need to add an 18. So it is eliminated from here to the 0, minus 18 plus 18. And I'll get a plus 18 here. The negative 35 should be added to 35. And the same here. Okay, so I have 4 plus 18 plus 35. Okay, so 6x minus 6x, that's a 0, and 10x. Now, 4 plus 18, which is 22, 22 plus 35, and that is 57. Now, we need to find x, so eliminate the 10 by dividing by 10, and dividing by 10. Okay? So, x is 57 on 10 which is equal to 5.7, okay? And always check them out by writing this down again on your calculator, but instead of x, write down 5.7, just write it down in the bracket, okay? Um, let's start off with solving linear equations with fractions, but I'm going to start off just with the easy ones. So next lesson will continue these okay Bella. the first one i have a number when i divide it by three i will get seven so think of a number that when divided by three the answer is seven what number is it it is 21 right because the opposite of division is multiplication 21 division by three will give us seven how did we obtain that? We obtained it because 7 times 3 is 21. Okay, it's the opposite of division, basically. This one over here, okay, is multiplied by 7 because the opposite of division is multiplication. You can do it this way. Multiply by 3 on this side, so it is eliminated, and I will get just an A. But if you multiply by 3 on that side, multiply by 3 on this side as well to keep it balanced. There are several ways how to do this, okay? Let's try B. Okay? So I have B minus 3, all of it on 5 equals 6. Okay? Similarly, I need to find B. I can't remove minus 3 yet, okay, because that minus 3, okay, is like stuck with on, on top of this barrier. So basically, first, I will have to eliminate this one. To eliminate that one, that's a division by 5, you have to multiply by 5, okay? Either multiply by 5 on both sides. Or just take this to the other side and it will become a multiplication. See whichever method you prefer to use. So that is B minus 3 equals 6 times 5 and 6 times 5 is 30. So something minus 3 is 30. Okay. To find B, I need to eliminate minus 3. The opposite of minus 3 is plus 3 and the same goes here. If you add 3 on this side, add 3 on this side as well to keep it balanced. So I have B equals 30 plus 3, which is 33. Okay, B is 33. And do check it out, Ara. 
33 and instead of B, let's write 33. 33 minus 3, which is 30. 30 division by 5, which is 6. Now, question C. 2F on 5 minus 4 is 3. Now, this time, pay attention. I can't remove the 5 first. I can't eliminate the 5 first. Why? Because that is close to F. Okay? This is not all over 5 like the one we had before. So, these are like a whole family over there. Okay? And this will have to be eliminated first. That minus 4 to be eliminated, I should add a 4, so it will become 0, and add a 4 as well on the other side to keep it balanced. So I have 2f on 5 equals 3 plus 4, and 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay? Now, I need to eliminate this 5, and this 5 is divided, so the opposite is multiplication, so it's eliminated, and multiply on this side as well. So I have 2f equals 7 times 5, which is 35. Okay. Now I need to eliminate the 2. A 2 mal f, it is being multiplied. So the opposite of multiply is divide. If we divide over there, we have to divide over here as well. So f is 35 division by 2, which is 17.5. And again, you can check it out. 17.5 times 2, which is 35. 35 division by 5, which is 7. 7 minus 4 will give me 3. Well done. So that's the correct answer. Okay. So those weren't that difficult, okay? Now we're going to go a step further, okay? And that we will deal with on our next lesson okay so for now make sure you've understood the ones where you have to expand the brackets and make sure you understand understood the simple ones over here okay so next time we'll continue the others